Right, let's blow a hole in something. For this little burst of shooty action, I'd like to look at an Amiga game that absolutely deserves a ton more recognition. Banshee by Core Design. The best shoot 'em up on the Amiga, and if more people knew it, I honestly reckon it'd be classed as one of the best of the 16 bit era. But unfortunately, it came out so late in the computer's life that a lot of people just aren't aware of it at all. And it's a European shoot 'em up, of course, which means people might just be naturally biased against it anyway. Banshee is, for the most part, a shooter that's good because it executes very well, but it does have some rather unique twists, the first being that it's quite steampunk in design, filling your monitor with quasi-Victorian townscapes and magnificent flying machines, set in a divergent timeline from our own where, apparently, TV is still in black and white, and there are no microwave ovens. An evil empire by the name of the Styx invade Earth and kill someone simply because they refuse to invent the microwave oven. Now, I don't know folks, to me, this seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Picture it. You're the sticks, you've just invaded a planet, and so naturally you're hungry and you're gonna want to heat up a Stickstown deep dish pizza or whatever. But this dude, this poncy fucking foodies refusing to invent the microwave oven, talking about how microwavable ready meals are bad for you and shit, screwing about with chopped on dive and squeeze bottles in front of murderous aliens? I mean, wouldn't you shoot him in the face? Anyway, turns out this dead dude was the father of one Sven Svadensvart, and he creates a murderous flying craft in order to take the fight to the sticks and boot their ass off the planet forevermore. And all of this over a microwave oven. Between you and me, I don't think that the plot was the first thing on the developers' minds when they were making this game. Hey ho, no matter. It's time to fly the friendly skies. And yeah, the main thing about Banshee is that it's just a really damn good shmup. It's got all the speed you could want, it's absolutely lovely looking, and yeah, it's a pretty vicious challenge too. There's only four levels in the game, but they're huge. One level here is easily the size of three regular shmup levels, and they'll take you to all sorts of fun places. The second level in the town is probably my favourite because of just the ride that you go on. Through the streets, through a train yard, to a graveyard where even the souls of the dead are with the sticks. There's lots of good shit, with lovely, vicious effects, when the fog or rain sets in on some of the levels, it just looks amazing. One of the best looking Amiga games around. And being a computer game, unlike a lot of other shmups, this game is pretty damn violent. It gets even more violent with the addition of one of the most awesomely named cheat codes in existence. If you enter I am exquisitely evil on the main menu, things just get even nastier. Enemies blow up that little bit harder, with shots reducing them to skeletons, setting them on fire or just blowing them to pieces. Ugh. Not only that, but there's poor innocents roaming the streets. Boom! Serves them right, honestly. I mean, let's face it, if you see the sky covered with airships, legions of soldiers firing into the skies and think, hmm, looks like good conditions for a spot of fishing. Frankly, you deserve that hole in your chest, mate. You and the sticks can also help make an endangered species even more endangered. Yeah, this is a violent game is what I'm trying to get at. It all combines to make Banshee something of a forgotten title, unfortunately. It didn't come out until mid-late 1994, by which time the Amiga was gradually ebbing away as a commercial force, and it was marketed primarily as a CD32 game, and by late 1994 that format kinda smelled. If you happen to have a CD32, it's undoubtedly one of the best games for that console. Although, annoyingly, even that version lacks an in-game soundtrack, which is the one thing that the game's missing that would have made it pretty close to flawless. And in the end, it just came too late in the day to get a cool port to the Mega Drive or the SNES. But this is absolutely a game that you should try to seek out, or at least play on an emulator. It's a bloody fantastic shmup, a late Amiga classic that deserves to be plucked out of the seas of obscurity. 
see you tomorrow.